Last week in F1, the Force India team finally went into administration after months of trying to find a solution to their mounting debts. Their driver Sergio Perez along with their power unit supplier Mercedes and their sponsor BWT put a plan together to start the process of administration which could protect Force India's employees from the dangers of the team falling into insolvency. Sounds pretty legit, right? Well, not if you're William Story, mogul of Rich Energy, which is definitely a real drinks company and not a shell of an excuse to get a rich entrepreneur into all his favourite glamorous events. Story, an Oscar winner and previous Mr. Universe, was furious at Perez and Mercedes for disrupting his efforts to save and take over Force India. Well, sorry, Rich Energy, but you're about to be beaten to it by Chainbear Energy. We're a definitely real energy drinks company that also definitely exists, and we're ready to quench some thirst, raise your blood pressure and buy Force India. Or we would have been if it wasn't for that damned meddling Sergio Perez. Force India's troubles haven't held them back from their racing duties for now, and they were seen at the post-Hungarian Grand Prix testing days trying out their prototype 2019-style wing with the much simplified outer winglet shapes. Having run the telemetry on the new design, the data is predicting a 19% increase in fans being annoyed by the new wing because, and I quote, Literally nothing will please these people. Also trying out next year's front wing were Williams, who also went the extra mile to repaint their car in a brazen attempt to lure Benetton back into F1 as potential title sponsors for next year. The rumour in the paddock is also that Sirotkin is expected to deliberately crash his car at the next race in order to entice Flavio Briatore to take up the team principal role, while Claire Williams looks onto a less stressful job, like managing Brexit negotiations or conducting an all-source band percussion band for infants. Speaking of stressful team situations, it seems the tensions between Red Bull Racing and Renault might might be a thing of the past. After yet another power unit failure brought Max Verstappen's race in Hungary to an early end, the Dutchman seemed to take it all rather in his stride as far as we can decipher from the radio transcript. I don't care if this fabulous engine blows up, he said. What a funny joke. All the four-time championship winning engine partners well spent time. And it's this kind of positive attitude that might not have alienated almost every power unit supplier in the attitude had they found it a little earlier. Oh well, it's all part of the game. And gaming wise, the final F1 2018 trailer dropped this week and the exciting new footage revealed that prominent F1 YouTubers will appear throughout the cutscenes as non-playable characters, so keep your eyes peeled for people like Arav, Ben Daly and of course, yours truly. No news yet on whether it will feature the Chain Bear Energy F1 livery. And finally, Fernando Alonso is annoyed and confounded by the fact that F1 always broadcasts his emotional radio messages on the TV. The two-time world champion, seen here entertaining the fans by taking control of a TV camera, did not understand why his character-filled, hilarious messages kept being put into the broadcast. Hopefully the Spaniard, seen here voluntarily taking part in a meme of his own antics as part of the F1 official show, will be able to find out from F1 bosses exactly why his entertaining radio conversations keep being singled out.